Fairly risky ride this morning. I came to Italy without a pump, without inner tubes, without a Garmin. So I have no idea where I am. Unlikely to get a puncture because I am on brand new tires because I'm on the brand new bike. But you know, it could still be a long walk back if things go wrong. It would be an absolute crime to come to this region of Italy, Veneto, and not go for a ride. So today is a travel day, but I'm squeezing in some riding. Currently the plan is ride this direction and hopefully it's nice. Look. Nice tower. Not nice road surface though. This is like stuck down gravel. Nice palm trees, basically on holiday. My route planning is exceptional. Of course, this ride is also my first time riding the new Dura Ace with 12 speed, kind of wireless. Shifters feel nice. Obviously it's a brand new group set, so it's always gonna feel pretty good. But what I have noticed, how fast the front mech is. Way faster than the old one. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Didn't charge it, so mystery amount of battery left in there. Maybe I shouldn't make this ride too long. I'll be sensible. Monte Grappa is up there though. You can basically see it. Quick Everest. The uh, problem with riding this bike today is that I can't show you it for another two weeks. So we basically spent all day yesterday filming with Villia and a professional film crew a kind of promotional video of us picking up our new bikes. It doesn't really matter if you see a sneak peek, but I can't show you it properly. I probably shouldn't hold the camera on it for too long. The thing is, making a video when you're out on your own is already hard enough as it is. Today I can't even point the camera down or I'll get in loads of trouble. So lovely ride. I'm feeling a million times better now I've actually got out on the bike here. There has, however, been a negative series of events at home. Starting with Daisy's commute last night. I'll flash up some footage of it here. It started snowing a lot. Then there was a power cut and now 112,000 homes around where we live haven't got power. So no lights, no heating. Will I be able to get a flight home? Only time will tell. Fingers crossed everything will work out okay. They've been at home without power for over 12 hours now. My flight is at 6 p.m. this evening. It means I get back to Newcastle about 10 p.m. Hopefully the snow will have stopped and my plane can land. In some positive news though, it is now lunchtime. And there's a pizzeria right around the corner. <laughs> Quite a cool little town. Nice market today, because it's a Saturday, selling an assortment of items. Foods that I don't recognize. Stick to the pizza, safer. Just spent 20 minutes in the hotel room as well, filling out that passenger locator form to come back into the UK. Then got a text just now on my phone from KLM saying red list has changed. Fill out the form again. Just love filling out forms. I have to say though, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be traveling with uh, all the COVID situation and everything. Runs pretty smoothly considering all the extra hoops you have to jump through. It is all very, very efficient. Now I've got two options. Takeaway pizza, which looks a little bit sketch, but then we are in the land of pizza. Or we'll sit down fancy pizza, which is probably more expensive. Maybe not as authentic. Should we go with the sketch one? Let's go with the sketch one. Huge success, pizza has been acquired. That would have been a massive shame to have come all the way to Italy for pizza and not got any pizza. Now, packing up this bike in the smallest hotel room in the world. Here's a little traveling with your bike tip. Always have an abundance of these things. I literally have like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a lot of these things just in your bike box. Always, even if they rattle around because they're very, very useful for stopping your brakes squeezing together and then never being able to get them apart again. If you do buy a new bike, sometimes they'll come with these. Don't throw them away. Because they're pretty handy. Thing is, that go in between your disc brakes. That's it. Amsterdam, biggest airport in the world. Been walking like 20 minutes. So I stopped filming last night because it was fairly stressful and dark. So I wasn't going to get any nice shots out of the airplane window. It is now the next day and we're back in the northeast. But we're not at home because our house still doesn't have power. Apparently it reached a total of 220,000 households 
around here that didn't have any power and most of them still don't. We stayed over the night at Jimmy and Emily's. Luckily, we have lovely friends just down the road. But as you can imagine, not an ideal situation. Apparently, it wasn't far off the hurricane. And you can see the effects. There's like trees and wheelie bins just like flying everywhere. On the plus side, Bella is enjoying it. It looks beautiful. The sun is now out. The wind has stopped. Happy days. I'm glad to be home. That tree is a mess. Mm, I'm very grateful that we have Jimmy and Emily, but our house lost power on Friday night at like eight o'clock and we still don't have any. It's currently Sunday afternoon and all the pipes might be frozen. All our food is now lost. You look funny in this coat though. You look like a big worm. <laughs> solid I'm very disappointed you want to see me drown in a really deep river lake thing oh yeah you're oh look at that puddle treasure not treasure gonna be a few interesting days on the bike if I can actually get out on the bike how long does this usually last for Jimmy I'm gonna have to get on Zwift don't I the last time it snowed we had like shin deep mid shin deep for six weeks but it doesn't normally get that cold until early next year, so this this will be gone in a couple of days. And the low, like if you go Newcastle, it'll just look normal. Well, it's just because we're high. Yeah. I think we're about 250 meters here. I would imagine it's probably about the same for you. Basically, altitude. Train high, race low. Oh. What is it? Something like that. Tra train, high. train high, race slow. Don't do drugs, kids. It's now in the evening. Our house still doesn't have power, so we're doing another night at Jimmy and Emily's. Thank God. They're here to save us. Unfortunately, the internet has gone down here because someone drove their car into the mast at the end of the road. So, I'm editing this video. Fingers crossed, eventually, I'll be able to get it up on the internet for you guys to watch. I don't know how, because the phone signal doesn't work up here either. What a strange couple of days. Thank you, as always, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, where hopefully, if you do subscribe, you will see future videos on this channel if the snow stops and things ever return back to normal. Really appreciate you watching and excited to show you the new bike in a couple of weeks' time. Bye for now.